Welcome back and happy Friday. Happy Easter also if you are one of the people who do celebrate it out there. And I'm going to go into some more market movers before this weekend starts with some slivers and reserve list cards. But before we jump into things there, I wanted to let you know that I do have some links in my description and they all help me out, whether it's Patreon or TCG Player, which I have an affiliate link for. So if you purchase cards, if you're gonna purchase cards after this video, you might as well use my link because it really helps my channel out and it is listed down below. Now let's jump into these market movers, starting to list off with a sliver, Gale Rider sliver from Magic 2014, a 5.29% from $19.67 to $20.71. Now, this card does see a lot of play, mostly in Commander Sliver Overlord decks, but it does see play in Legacy and Modern Slivers as well. And there is no other printings of this card, so when it sees a spike, it's going to spike more aggressively. Kozilek, the Great Distortion. This is from Oath of the Gatewatch, up 5.45% today, from $21.83 to $23.02. Now, this card does see some play mostly in commander as an actual commander himself for 33 registered copies of Kozilek the Great Distortion decks on MTG Goldfish. Cursed Scroll from Tempest. This is a card that was on our list yesterday and it is our first reserve list card on this list today up 5.53% from $26.60 to $28.07 seeing new all-time highs and it does see play in commander more recently a heartless Hidigo Sugu deck. Wow, I butchered that name. Let me know how you pronounce it in the comments. Next up is Liliana of the Veil vale from Innistrad. This is up 5.85% from 77.32 to 81.84. Now this card sees play in Commander, but it also is one of the staples in the modern Jun deck as well. Now there is an Ultimate Masters box topper version that has been going up as well. If you look at the average price, about 220 to 315 on the market. Next up is Windswept Heath from Zendikar Rising Expeditions. This is up 7.54% today from $38.19 to $41.07. And obviously this is a very utilized land, seeing most play in Heliod Company decks in Modern, but it sees a lot of play in Commander as well. There is a cheaper copy on the market though from Kazatar Gear, and it's about $21 to $23 on the market. Branching Evolution from Jumpstart. This is a pretty recent card. This is up 7.71% from $21.02 to $22.64. Now this card sees a bunch of play in Commander and more recently a Vorinclinx Monstrous Raider deck and there's 26 registered copies of that card and it's the only printing of this card so when it spikes, it spikes hard. Half Dane from Legends, another card that we saw on our list Yesterday, this is seeing new all-time highs yet again. A reserve list card up 7.77% from $66.28 to $71.43. Now, there isn't any registered decks that I could find that are using this card. So if there's any other reasons apart from it being a reserve list card going up, I'd love to know. But it is a reserve list card from Legends. Next up is Hex Drinker. This is a card we've seen on this list this week show up. It is from Modern Horizons. It is up 7.95% today from $25.52 to $27.55. Now this card does see a lot of play more recently in Modern Jun Death Shadow, but also sees play in Legacy Teamer Delver, and it's the only printing of this card, and it's from Modern Horizons. Next up, Breath Stealer's Crypt. This reserve list Gold Border Visions card is up 8.94% today from $13.76 to $14.00. In 99 cents. Now, this card is seeing new all time highs and it does see play a bit in Commander. And that deck that uses it is a Nakusur the Mind Razor deck. And there's two registered copies there as well. Okay, and the next on the list is Sakashima of a Thousand Faces from Commander Legends. This is up 9.52% from $22.17 to $24.28. Now, this is a card that was printed recently in Commander Legends, which makes sense that it sees more play in the format Commander. And more recently, a Coma Cosmos Serpent deck that has 37 registered copies across those decks. And this card was only printed in Commander Legends, so when there is interest, it's going to see more aggressive spikes on the market. Next up is Elvish Champion from 7th Edition. This beautiful card is up 11.09% from $9.38 to $10.42. Now this card is an absolute powerhouse 
in multiple formats, but sees most of its play in Commander and Lathral Blade of the Elves decks and in Marwyn the Nurturer deck as well. This card obviously has many printings across a variety of different sets, and the cheapest one I could find was actually from the 9th edition, and it is about $8 to $9 on the market right now. Next up is Spire Bluff Canal from Kaladesh, and this land is up 11.51% today from $9.82 to $10.95. Now it is a red-blue land, and those are very popular colors, and mostly commander but in multiple formats and it does see play in multiple formats modern pioneer and commander to be more of the recent ones but it sees most of its play in modern blitz next up on the list is synapse sliver a sliver that we saw on this list this week this is up 12.07 percent from $28.01 to $31.39 seeing new all-time highs now this card is one of the best slivers in my opinion, and it does see a lot of play. Mo most of its play it actually sees in a Sliver Overlord deck, but it also sees play in a variety of other Sliver decks in Commander. It's the only printing of this card, so when it spikes, it's going to spike hard, especially when there's a lot of interest in older Slivers from Legions. Deserted Temple is our next card on the list from Odyssey. This rare land is up 19.75% from 36.76 to $44 and two cents seeing new all-time highs now this is a card that we've seen on this list again previously but it does see a lot of play like we've talked about before in commander and its most recent play that it does see is in actually a tegard god of fright deck and there is no other printings of this card but it's not a reserveless card so it could be reprinted soon magma sliver from legions this card is up 21.37 percent from nine dollars and 78 cents to $11.87, and now it is a sliver from Legions, which is a set that has never seen any reprints for the slivers in that set. This card sees most of its play in a Sliver Overlord deck, and there's 10 registered copies of that deck in Commander, and it's the only printing of that card. You know, there was no reprints of Legion slivers. And our first final card on this list is Presence of the Master. This is a card that's shown up on our list before, but not recently, and this is a Legends card up 29.50%, from $20.17 to $26.12 and it has absolutely stunning art and there is no decks that do actually play this card but I just think for the art and the fact that it is an old card from Legends that is going to see some interest. Now what about Modern? Is Modern making a comeback? I don't know there seem to be a lot of cards in Modern that were on this list today and throughout the week so let's check out some Modern staples. Prismatic Vista now this is basically another fetch land. I call it the 11th fetch land. And you can actually see that the market is starting to rise on a lot of these cards. Worm Goyle Engine from Scars of Mirrodin. It looks like it's finally bottomed out a few weeks ago. And it's starting to go on the rise. Now as more people get vaccinated and the economy reopens, game stores are starting to have players come into their stores. Tournaments are potentially going to be held soon. As you can see, they all have looked like they've bottomed out finally, and they are starting to see a little bit of rise. Same as Noble Hierarch. You know, will it ever see its all-time high prices of over $75? Only time will tell. But look at Walking Ballista too. This is a car that sees a lot of play in Tron, and that is one of the most popular decks in Modern, and it looks like it has also bottomed out. As you can see, there is starting to be a little bit of an increase there at the end of that graph. And another card, Thought Seize. Obviously, it sees a ton of play, mostly in sideboards, but any sort of deck like Jun or Death Shadow, they do use this card, and you can see it has bottomed out, and it looks like it's really finally consolidated, and it is starting to see a rise. Okay, final thoughts on the market. It looks like Modern is kind of making a comeback. I don't know. What are your thoughts on that? I'd love to hear them down below. To me, it looks like there is some interest in Modern now as the economy starts to reopen. You know, people are going back to work, people are getting vaccinated, local game stores are going to start having people come into their store. So tournaments can be held. Maybe we're even going to see some more face-to-face -face Friday Night Magic. I don't know. What do you guys think? That sounds like a great idea to me. Well, with that being said, I would love to tell you all that I do have a Patreon and a TCG player link in my description, which I talked about earlier in the video. So please check them out. It really supports the channel. And with that being said, please enjoy the rest of your day and happy Easter to all who celebrate. I will see you Monday for another Market Movers.
Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.